I don't know if you were going to be in, a, in an isolation center or you will be home. So if you are going home, these are some remedies for you. Steaming, steaming. Guys, there's a day I steam four times in a day. I'm not even kidding. I was really keen to fight COVID that I was able to steam 12 times a day. So steaming helped me in that I think of um, a virus, a COVID virus as a block of fat or block of mucus. And how I felt it, it is, it was covering all my throat and uh, my nose area. So the more I steamed, the more I felt relieved. It was like it was melting and eventually I had mucus because I had a dry throat and blocked nose. But mucus wasn't running. Sorry to say, but uh, yeah, mucus wasn't running. So me steaming often helped my nose to open up and, and just for me to breathe properly. So you get a bucket, pour hot water. And when you pour hot water, you can use a thick blanket to cover yourself and steam. You can do the first steam with just water if you don't have any essential oils or herbs. Eucalyptus oil, you can drop, I think, um, I used to use five drops. In the first one, the first time I used this eucalyptus, yes, I'll try and set it somewhere here. So this is what I used for the first three days. And then I used to mix, I used to mix this, the strong heat, and I would also mix the rabbon. I will insert pictures of these um, just in a bit so that you can see them. And I'll also add it in the description box below so that if you want to find it in any pharmacy, you are able to get it. So initially I would mix these three and use a thick blanket. I'll literally just go and steam my nose area. So the first time I used to steam my face, then i discovered steaming the whole body was good as well because it will relax your body really will help but i would recommend this one more because th this one is slightly stronger than this that's what i observed this one cleared my my throat my nose faster always you can steam the first one is just with water the second one is um with the eucalyptus oil alone the third one is the eucalyptus oil the strong heat and also you can just use a towel after you steam you press your chest a very hot towel press your chest make sure you're pressing it around your chest and your nose area just to help you um melt the block of the virus let's say that i'm not in the medical field so these terms i won't know i'm just sharing remedies that i use link it in the description below so you can get it from any pharmacy but the best vitamin c i found was in oranges and lemon apples do apples have vitamin c but that that really helped my throat the apple juice really helped my throat a very rich diet in have a very rich diet in vegetables and and um a fruit because that will help your immune system be boosted avoid the junk food avoid the pizzas everything in this case your body is at war so you want to feed your body with right food it's like loading a gun you're loading your uh, immune system with so much uh, fruits that it will help fight the virus if you start loading um you, you start loading bubble gums in a gun that's not the right that's not the right way to fight your battle so the gun won't fire because those are bubble gums but if you add bullets when you aim to shoot when you aim to shoot the virus that will be helpful for you because the gun is the right um the right should we say the right What's the word? The right. If you feed your face, your fear will starve. I'll say that again. If you feed your faith, 
your fear will starve. In this time, feed yourself with information that will help you fight this. I remember while I was sick, I constantly wanted to watch who's dying. Yeah, that's strange. Watch who's dying, what's the latest about COVID, what's going to happen to me, am I just going to die, will they find me dead? I was telling my sister yesterday, like I was even writing passwords, which bank account, what goes to who, my computer to who. Like I just got scared. It, it sounds funny now, but then it was really scary. Like I started writing my will. That's because everyone was dying. So I was very sure, like not everyone, like most people, the news I was watching, people were dying. So even I felt like maybe I'll die. You know and it really discouraged me and there's one thing that I, I i i watched along the way of a doctor who was saying it also tri triggers your mind it can mess up with your mind so that your immune system goes really down and it can't fight again like the virus COVID, really plays with the psych like your mind you can even go psycho you can actually die out of fear you get blood pressure and all those things so it's very important that you are constantly encouraging yourself for me i even started filming content for my youtube channel reading a book uh, watching a movie just distract your mind feed yourself with words that are encouraging what do you want to achieve after that's what i mean by faith over fear you can fight this you can even pray about it like i literally was praying Guys, if I if I should tell you, I even told God. It's a secret, maybe of course. I told God that her body go must move on. There are so many people who should hear my story, and He saved me. Hallelujah. That's the positivity you should have. I'm making this video so that you are positive. You are positive in everything through this journey. That God will save you. I was going to mention that what he was talking about was sleeping, but I would rather a doctor prescribe what medication you should take because we all have um, different immunity. And I'm not a doctor, I'm just sharing what helped me. So it's best a doctor prescribes medication. And through it all, if in seven days you don't feel better, make sure you go back to the hospital. If you tested positive and you have people you are staying with, I would also advise you can call someone to come and disinfect the whole house and also just constantly keep your space clean. Allow enough ventilation in your house or if you're in your room and just make sure you keep your windows open throughout the day. You definitely are going to make use of the fresh air um, blowing just to give you a fresh mind and also blow off the, the virus in the air get enough rest rest you'll be fine you do everything you want to do after you are fine i wanted to be superwoman and while i was sick i decided to work out one day i, I worked out from my room and afterwards i slept all day i felt weak i couldn't control my breathing so i i noticed that you know what after i am out of this place i have all the workouts that i can do that i want to do but now is not the time now is the time to really take care of myself take care of my health so yeah get the rest the rest that you need rest as much as possible and give yourself um, a peace of mind don't think about it rest if you want to sleep all day don't do it i was going to say do it but just don't do it keep yourself busy don't sleep all day that will make your your body weak stretch a little bit but just don't do strenuous activities don't work out but you can stretch keep your body relaxed don't panic and just relax be yourself so these are the tips that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you find this video very useful i know i was playful at some point but that's because i want you to be positive about all this 
all this will end everything will be okay you'll be fine if i fought for my life give yourself a reason to fight for it and stay safe and if you were watching this you probably didn't get the virus just make sure you are safe and be positive and also um, encourage the people who are fighting this at home don't ask them so many questions please just encourage them let them be positive and they'll be fine thank you for watching i really appreciate and i'll be back with another video just make sure you subscribe okay thank you for watching